Zoroark is busted. What's up, YouTube? Whether you're a pre-release gem goblin like me who spent the equivalent of the latest Marvel movie plus a large popcorn, or you're a frugal savant able to wait seven days before indulging in evil monetization practices, this Zoroark mini guide is going to be for you. I'll be going over three very important Zoroark concepts, plus a full gameplay video at the end to help any one of you pick up Zoroark like a boss. Number one, illusion. You might expect illusion to simply be the type of move that is able to fool your opponents and while it allows you to transform into any wild pokemon to help deceive them the real power in this move comes from the invincibility frames you get 20 invincibility frames the equivalent of one third of a second where you're completely invincible unable to take damage or be hindered use this to your advantage in moments where you need to escape and just remember, if you ever die with illusion off cooldown, try to think to yourself, if I used a perfect illusion, would I have been able to live in that moment? If the answer is yes, then you got some work to do. Number two, Fury Swipes. On top of Zoroark's amazing mid game and early game pressure once you're level five, this Pokemon has an amazing start with Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes is a move that allows you to reset it as long as it hits one target once per cast. Observe. Fury Swipes, I can Fury Swipes again, combo with a dash, and I've made so much distance purely as a level 3 character. Remember this and make sure you use it to your advantage when you're trying to stack in lane to get your attack weight stacks up. Finally, number 3, Night Flash. This is a move that you should always go on Zoroark without question, until Faint Attack is buffed, it's not worth going, and it's probably the most frustrating move to use in Pokemon Unite. It's incredibly easy to miss and a lot of people will tell you the best way to do it is to just hold down your left joystick in the direction you need to go and hold down your a button some people will recommend to press tap try it out in try mode before you go into a ranked match i promise you it's going to help a lot basically what you need to do is you need to move after inputting an attack command on your target and if you move before attacking or you move too much or you get hindered during this process, your Night Slash will completely end, leaving you very vulnerable. Now, if you notice towards the end of Night Slash, once you've procced a number of hits, you'll go into your X form where you're completely invincible, and that's where a big amount of the damage comes. It provides an Execute, which is uncapped on players, and I believe capped on wild Pokemon, and it also heals you for a big portion of your attack set. What you want to make sure you're also leveraging is the ability to activate your R1 move during Night Slash. Whether you have Slash from the early game, or you've leveled up and elected to go for Shadow Claw, which I believe is the superior of the moves, you can use it during your X animation. Use that to reposition yourself, to get some additional damage in, whatever it might be, and that's it. In the gameplay I'm about to show you, I elect to go for a Focus Man, a more defensive item. After playing some more Zoroark off stream, I think it might be fair to drop the Focus Band for another damage item such as Muscle Band, but feel free to experiment with this build when you're first starting off with Zoroark. Other than that, I hope you liked the video. Comment down below what you want to see next, and enjoy. Hi, I'm just an Ndidi. I should have got that, to be honest. Oh my god, dude. I feel like we should have just killed the Venus over there. Do you evolve off that? No. Nice. Finally, I crit, dude. Okay, I mean, this Pokemon's level 5 is so broken, though.
Like, how is this fair, though? Well, it's fair because I can just miss, like, that lol. Why have you given up, bro? I don't want to kill him. Uh oh. Poor guy. Torx definitely better when it's playing from ahead, yes. Such is the life of speedsters, though, you know? Can we push with this, guys? Okay. I actually died so quickly. Where did I take so much damage from? Oh, I must have got solar beamed. Like, I... Don't feel like the Sylveon did that much damage to me there, but okay. Oops. Shouldn't have let them cap there. That's a mistake. not nice he sucked me over the wall and then he ulted me rude just wanted to make their point even lower mm, I wanted to farm but my Doris can just farm it's fine yeah get me in particular you know off the I'm not sure how I lost my Night Slash there. It also just went so quickly. How did, like, I autoed faster than I've ever autoed in my life there. Went back top though. Okay. Well, killed everyone and I died. Such is my life. Alright, Slower Alt is out. Hey! What are you looking at? Nice to care. The apple. Ay, 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 I got for it. Guys, the bottom path. It should be very obvious to you. I'm not tilting, though. You know, I'm very calm. I'm positive. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. I need to become. Oh, I wanted to become you, bro. I didn't want to kill you. I wanted to become you. Oh, thank you. You can heal me, sir. Let me heal my Duraldon with the same thing. Oh, press A, press A. Nice. Mm, I didn't angle that right. I had to go past him. Rude. Oh, God. Dura's going to flip it. No, we have a huge lead. Please don't. I'm not flipping. I'm nice. I'm vibing. 
I'm driving. I'm ulting, bro. I'm over it. Okay, nice. They surrendered. <laughs> I'm so chill. What a game. Adra, what's up, homie? Welcome into the stream. GG, hi YouTube. How to play Zoroark and not tilt at the same time. Smile. I'm smiling. I'm so chill automated for winter. Ooh. I'm gonna jump mid. I've got my Unite move. I'm gonna look at Ray as well. They're hitting Ray. It's fine, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Get ready for it, alright? See, I told you, I got you. 